hello everyone welcome to my channel my name is elizabeth and welcome to today's video i'm going to be folding laundry with you yes it's in the afternoon i'm just going to just uh, remove it from the washing line because it's dry enough actually it has been burned by the sun so far and yeah i'm just going to fold in with you guys my name is elizabeth and please subscribe to my channel for the returning subscribers i love you so much and please do give this video a thumbs up if you like it and if you feel you need to share please do share it so that others can find it and be motivated to do uh, their home chores like if you lazy to fold your laundry here i am motivating you to do all the things that you need to do i do any motivation videos and laundry videos together with grocery hauls the most and sometimes lifestyle videos so today it was a good day guys and as i was folding my laundry guys i received a call during my folding i received a call and i don't normally answer calls that i do not know or they come in a red flag like you know when you have a true caller and people have blocked that call so many of them blocked the call it comes in as a red flag that day i just answered my call and the guy the guy was so confident enough to just start scamming me like thanks god i had recognized that as soon as the call was going on so it it went like Hi, my name is whoever and ever. I am calling you from FNB and I'm using FNB as my banking uh, institution. He knows my names. So I go ahead and listen to that. So the first thing he said was, guy, like really, there was someone, uh, what did he say? He said, did you request a loan of 2000 rand i said no and then he quickly said okay it means we have to block the request and then i gave him a go ahead but it was so suspicious and weird the first thing that he needed was my ex the expiry date of my card he asked me if I'm home or anywhere next to my card and I said yes. He asked me uh, the expiry date of my card. And I I know the expiry date of my card because I always check on it. And I gave him the wrong one. Guys, if you are on a system, those things you can see them. I gave him that then he went ahead and asked me for my card number quickly it clicked on my mind that guys you cannot <laughs> when you purchase online these are the things that are looking for expiry date of the card the the card number and the, the that number behind the the card the three numbers behind the card normally there are six divided into two three three and they want the last so quickly I remembered that no man, this guy wants to scam me. And I said, ah, jeez, why are you looking for my card number when you are on a system and you can see it? Why can't just you block the request of the loan and go ahead? He said, no, we need to verify and do this. And I just tell him, guys, please stop scamming me straight ahead i just said please stop scamming me what is it that you are looking for go and scam your mother and he dropped the call because i snapped him so should i have given him the those details believe me the next step was please confirm on your app the transaction that is the next step the, the last step that is going to happen was please confirm your, your transaction on the app because everything that I do on a computer or uh, somewhere which is not on my app, which is not on the phone, 
from my app you i have to confirm it on the app first so i quickly remembered gary yes this guy is just one cafe <laughs> Uncafel, it feels so nice when you snap them. So they 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 tend to to remain foolish. But if you don't know, really, if you don't know, you would have been panicked and thinking that, yeah, the guy is really blocking the two thousand rand loan that is being requested, not knowing that they are going to take you two thousand rand. So guys, be alert that these people are on a mission. They are not here to play. They will come which from everywhere, side from side to side, every corner, with every method they are gonna use. And they will sound like they are legit. First of all, if the bank calls you, I believe they want you to confirm your ID number before you start with the conversation. Before you start with the conversation, sometimes I give them a wrong ID number to see if they are looking at the system and really we're having the same conversation here. We are on the same page. Sometimes I give them the wrong ID number so that they can uh, stop whatever they are doing or be sure that yes, it's not me or yes, really they want to talk to me. They will tell me if. Uh, my ID number is wrong or what or they will stop the conversation I don't care these people are here to make a living out of our sweat out of our hard earned money and I'm not about that you can scam me when I'm when I'm asleep guys you can you can scam me when I'm six feet under not now not now really so you guys let's uh, be let's let's be vigilant when it comes to these people who calls us and pretend to be coming from from our bank institution or wherever they are coming for for promising us a lot of things that are not even existing i hope you're still in uh, enjoying the video though uh yeah let's continue uh, uh folding in the laundry guys i love you so much and i thought i should share this conversation this the the conversation is in the video my phone was on a speaker actually i used the f word like when you are chasing a dog uh, i don't want to use it here but when you are chasing a dog when you are a south african you know the word. i just said it and he dropped the call so guys let's keep on folding the laundry and enjoy your midweek enjoy your enjoy your day today I love you so much and thank you for subscribing thank you for coming back and i will see you guys in my next video